This is a video tutorial on how to use graphical analysis, GW, to be able to manually create a graph. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download graphical GW from the App Store and then launch it. So I'm going to launch that software. When I get to this screen, what I want to do is add a new experiment. So I'm going to tap on new experiment. Uh, I want manual entry. So I'm going to click on manual entry. And then I have the generic grid and the data set that appears. If I want to then enter my data in, I'm going to click double click on the box there next to the one in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to manually type my data in hitting enter or return between each number. Now I have my data in. Notice that the points have appeared on the grid over on the side. Uh, looking at those, they appear to be somewhat of a curve. So now I'm going to need to format the graph, which includes putting titles on the different axes, and then an overall title and a trend line with an equation. In order to put titles on my axes, I'm going to go over to my data set, click the three dots next to the X, and then I can go to column options and I can rename that column on the horizontal axis. The data that I have is regarding a distance that a spring is stretched. So I'm going to title it distance stretched and my units are in meters and that will appear there and in my data table. And then I'm going to go to the three dots by my Y in column options and this data is potential energy and my units are joules. So now I have titles on each of the axes and I have my data set titles. I need an overall title on my graph. Down in the lower left corner of the graph, there's a small little graph with three dots and a line. I'm gonna click on that and I want graph options. So uh, title and I'm going to click in the title. The title is always going to be what's on the vertical axis, in this case potential energy, versus what's on the horizontal axis, distance stretched. So now I've got that title overall that has appeared at the top. The next thing I need then is a trend line or a regression. So I'm going to click again on that little graph on the bottom left corner and I want to apply a curve fit. Linear does not look like a good curve fit, so I'm going to change that to power looks pretty good. So power relationship, looking over at the equation box that is there, RMSE, root mean square, that value is extremely low, uh, value to the negative 17th power, so it's basically zero which means that my fit has a high level of correlation. Now I have my graph completed and my data set. Now I need to copy my data and my graph over into a lab report. So then over here in Google Docs, I've started to prepare a lab report here and I need to place that data in that graph in here. So going back over, I'm gonna use the up arrow button on the upper right corner of the screen and I want to copy, first of all, the image of the graph. And I just want to copy it. So I'm going to click the Copy button. Then I'm going to double click my Home button and come back over to my Google Doc. Over in my graph, I'm going to hold on the screen and paste. There's my graph. To be able to copy my data, I want it to be in the data table, nice and neat and organized as it's shown. If I use the up arrow button, it will eliminate the ta table and just crunch my data together. So what I'm going to do is a screen capture. I'm going to hit the home button and the power button at the same time. And it captures the screen. Then I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to rescale it in to just my data table. That's what I want copied. Now I'm going to up arrow on the top right. 
I'm going to copy that. I'm going to click done because I'm done with that and no, I don't need the screenshot. Double click on my home button to come back over here and now touching the screen and holding, I'm going to paste and there's my data set. So now I have my data and my graph appearing in my lab report and I can go and input the rest of that lab report. Ponder Physics.